Hey gang, have you ever been in there writing styles and you have to add your colors and you're like, oh, what what was that color? It was 65ADC, I don't even know, something crazy, right? It's hard to remember those. It's hard to recall them from memory. You end up having to either dig into another file or refer to something else in order to just get that. Wouldn't it be easier to just click a button and have it pop right in there? I know I would. It's way easier for me to recognize a color than it is to recall it. Uh, science teaches us that. That's one of those things. But this, this is one of my favorite apps. Uh, it's called SIP. It's at, at its heart, it's just a palette manager, color palette manager. I have lots of different palettes in mine right now. Uh, and of course, some, some history and stuff. And it does a few things. You can use it to collect colors. Once you collect those colors, you can share those colors. And then from there, designers and developers can both use those same colors to do the mock-ups and write the code and do the thing. And not just web developers, but all kinds of developers. It's actually, uh, it's actually pretty cool, the, the number of different formats that they've included in this. Uh, it is not free, unfortunately. It does cost a little bit of money. You can try it for free for, I think, two weeks or something like that. Get a feel for it. Or if you have Setup, then you already have it. So, pretty good deal there. Uh, lots of different features, but let's get started. Let's talk about collecting first. So, my favorite way to collect a palette is just to open the, the loop up. You can either click this thing or my favorite is just to hold control option command P and that brings it right up. And then from there you can either just click this and it will add to your your history. So it's this one here, gondola. Uh, and you can just keep doing that. It takes a long time that way though. So what I prefer to do is I hold the control key and as I click here it doesn't look like anything is happening, but as soon as I release the control key, I get this palette, okay? And then I can name it. This one is hands-on. I'll just leave that for now. I can name it and I can add to it. So I can duplicate this if I wanted to have a separate one, but I can change this color, maybe make it, I don't know, a little bit lighter for whatever reason. And I can either overwrite that or add it. So now I have those two greens. I can sort these, I can move them around, and like I said, we can share this. So this palette now becomes something that both designers and developers can use. I could go in here and there are tons of different things. In fact, there's, there's even PDF in here. So if you were doing mood boards or something like that, you could share that with a client. Uh, SCSS. My preference is just to go with the SIP palette and save that out. Put it on the desktop for now. Great. And now if I go here, I have this, this SIP palette. If I double click it, you're going to see immediately that now I have two of these things over here, which is perfect, except that I didn't really need to, but that's okay. And they have all the same colors, all the same color names, they're all still in there. In terms of using these now, for a designer it's very easy. You don't even need to, to do any of this. You can just grab these, oh, rock, paper, scissors, and laser sword. So maybe I want this one to be, I don't know, green. And this one is blue. And all I'm doing here is command clicking and it puts that into the fill color. So right there, maybe I want this one to be, I don't know, orange, because laser sword beats everything. Uh, in terms of illustrator or sketch, you can also use the background by holding down shift, shift command when you do it, which puts it right in there. And now I have a very fine line around this. So it's, it's very easy to get into and, and all you're doing is just 
click an ad, click an ad, click an ad. Okay? For developers, it's the exact same way, only it's in code. So now we have these formats. Instead of the, the history, it has a second section which has lots of different formats. Uh, I've actually hidden most of them. So there's formats for uh, if you're doing iOS design, Android design, all these different apps. You have all of these different color formats that you could go with. I only do web design, so those are the only ones there. And I have some custom ones here. So I have things like the variable declaration and the variable call. I can set this here. I can go back to my, my file. And now, now if I do this, it will add that to the very top. There's my variable, there's the color name. And I can change this just by going and getting the call instead. There it is, long green. So I can be in completely different files. Uh, I use Sublime, so it doesn't really have a lot of great uh, SCSS IntelliSense, is that what it's called for, for code? But this does work in, in VS Code as well. It even works in Vim, if that's your deal. Lots of different ways. Uh, so it's called SIP. Uh, it is available as a trial. You can also buy it. It's, it's very cheap, 10 bucks. Uh, and it will allow us to collect colors. You can collect colors from anywhere, any website, any picture. You can just get it. There's arrow keys for moving around if you want to do that. Uh, you can share them to whatever format you're doing. And then of course you can use them. And like I said, designers and developers can both use them, which makes it almost brain dead simple. Uh, that's it for this time. Uh, have you tried it? Have you used it? Comment away. Let me know what you think. If you're on Windows, I don't think this is available for Windows, but if you're on Windows and you do something similar, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, comment about that as well. And I will see you next time.